Good afternoon. How are you doing? I hope you are fine. Today's lesson is about making and accepting apology. We learn how we can make an apology or accept apology. So, let's suppose you came late to school. What would you say to your teacher? Think about it. So, for example, you came late to school. What would you say to your teacher? Yes. Or sometimes you didn't come to school. You were absent, and when you meet your teacher, you should say something to him or to her. Guess. Yes. Great. So, you should apologize. That means you should say sorry. Today, we will learn how to say sorry and use different expressions. So, try to read the dialogue again and find the expressions of apology. Great. Did you find them? Okay. Let's see together. Look, we have, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So these are the expressions that Stella used to make apology to her mother. For the word in blue, this one, it's okay. This how we accept. This is the word we use to accept apology. So the mother said, it's okay. Great. Now, suppose that you didn't help your mother with the housework. And she is angry. What will you do? Yes, good. You will apologize or you should apologize. So express apologizing. What will you say? Great. You will say, I'm really sorry. Like Stella, yes, or I'm sorry. Very good. You say, I do apologize. This is a way how we can make apology. Good. So when the mother will accept the apology, will say, for example, it's okay. Or she would say, never mind. Or don't worry. As you see, we have many different expressions that we can use in English for apology. So, we have, excuse me, for, for example, I'm late and I will say to my teacher, excuse me for being late. I apologize for being late. I beg your pardon, or pardon, or sorry, or I do apologize for being late, or I must apologize for being late. Again, I can say, I shouldn't have said that. Don't be mad at me. For example, your friend, uh, you told your friend a bad word, and then you realize that, and you apologize. You say, 
I shouldn't have said that. Don't be mad at me. Or I was wrong. Can you forgive me? I can use. I'd like to apologize for not being on time. Or I'm really sorry for I will not do it again. So I'm really sorry for being late. I won't do it again. That means I will not do it again. This is the short form of will not. I can say I'm afraid and not like afraid that means scared. Here we can express apology with this word. I can use I'd like to apologize for being late or I'm ashamed of being late. It's all my fault. My apologies for being late. I can use pardon me for being late. Please accept my apology for being late. Please excuse me or please forgive me for being late or please forgive me for my bad behavior if I suppose I've done something not good. Great. Again, when you want to accept an, an apology, sorry, when you want to accept an apology, you have many expressions to use. Let's start with, don't worry. No need to apologize, it's okay. That's all right. Never mind. Don't apologize. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Don't mention it. That's okay. I quite understand. You couldn't help it. Forget about it. We have more and more expressions that we can use. Look, for example, no harm done. No worries. It's fine. Please, don't let it happen again. You should be, but I forgive you. No problem. That's quite all right. Think nothing of it. It's not important. That's all right. It's all fine. I understand. Great. So now, let's practice. We have Okay, so we have expressing apology and exp accepting apology. So let's read the first one. Please accept my apologies for stepping on your foot. Which one? Can we match the following apologies with the appropriate response? So we will match the first one. Think about it. Okay. So, we say, please accept my apologies for stepping on your foot. That's all right. In fact, the bus is very crowded. That means one, be much to see. Now, the second one. Excuse me, I didn't realize this was your seat. Yeah, great. We will match it with, never mind. I'll try to find another one. The third one. I'm really sorry, Pete. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Yes, it's clear. We will match it to don't worry about it. Fine. I hope that you understand what I have explained so far. Now, what I want you to do is to write a mini dialogue expressing apology and responding to it. You will do this work as a homework and then you will submit it as a comment under this video. Great! Thank you for being here with me and see you later.